What do you think should happen with the league's spending limits? Listen, I think we have seen that the more money that we put in, uh, that allows the quality to be better on the field. So I know that we still have to be cautious in how we grow because now there's also more teams and the, the league keeps on getting bigger. Uh, and we have to now, you know, uh, pay more for players because the market is, is, is getting also more expensive. But I still think uh, that, you know, that this has helped the, the level of, of competition in, in play. And we see guys coming to the league younger that potentially also can be sold to Europe uh, or to South America or to other places. Uh, so I think that's something that the league now is focusing as well, uh, something that MLS wasn't doing uh, in years past. And I think it's something that is very important. Um, and for me, it's, uh, you know, the third DP has to stay. The third DP makes the game better. And we still have to put resources towards it. Uh, what would you like to see this league do as far as its spending limits are concerned? Yeah, I know the league is, was first built on parity and, and having certain restrictions so that there's as much fair competition. Um, you know, an MLS champion was, un was very hard to predict every year. Um, you do see some some more spending, and you see with the with the DPS and how the TAM has worked out. You know, you see some really big in investment in, in those in the international player and some of the domestic players. Um, for us in, in our club, w we're looking for balance. You know, uh, I I was given an opportunity to be an academy coach and then a director in the academy, and my job was to find value from within our people, our players, our staff. My staff is comprised of mostly ac academy staff, and that's not a easy thing for an owner to invest in and believe in, but that's where I am and, and I'm very grateful to that and that's why I have to continue to believe in this, in this idea, this philosophy is of creating value from within. Would you like to see the spending limits that the league has tightened or expanded? No, I don't want to talk about that. I want to focus on what we're doing as a club. You know, we going after a player like Lucas Cavallini was important in you, in our club. Uh, it was uh, it was a significant amount that we had to spend to buy him from uh, Pachuca, and then other moves that that people are not aware of yet, and that are in the works and are going to allow us to grow as a team. So uh, again, there was a recognition of saying we need to follow as much as we can what's happening in the league because the league has grown a lot, and it's not only about the Zlatans or the Roonies that that pass by the league, it's even you see it more with young players that um, European teams are interested in. Uh, if we were talking about that 10 years ago, people would say, you're crazy, it's never going to happen in MLS. So there's changes that we're slowly following and I think it's going to help us. I'd like to see spending in increase, but I, I think it has to be done at a uh, th an intelligent manner. I, I don't think we can get into these situations where uh, our, our league uh, looks like the NASL was, where everyone was trying to chase the cosmos and it, and it bankrupted the league. So we have to be intelligent about the way we grow the league. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.